up top, Jack. Mondays, right? <laughs> One thing that you notice is that there are some brand logos that are instantly recognizable. McDonald's, KFC, Wendy's. We can all think about these brands, and it's almost guaranteed that the logo will automatically pop into your head. However, one thing that you might not know is that there are some brands with logos that actually contain hidden messages and meanings. These are very clever marketing ploys that most of us may not have noticed before. With this in mind, let's take a look at the top 10 food logos that have hidden meanings. What is that amazing smell? Chocolate. Toblerone. Toblerone is a Swiss chocolate bar brand owned by U.S. confectioners Mondelez International Inc., formerly Kraft Foods. This delicious pyramid-shaped chocolate bar was introduced by Theodore Tobler and his cousin Emil Bauman way back in 1908. Yes, that's delicious. If you have yet to try a Toblerone bar, then you are missing out. It consists of milk chocolate triangles filled with almonds, nougat, and honey. However, as the years have gone by, the confectioners have brought several new varieties to the market. You can now get dark chocolate, which was introduced in 1969, white chocolate, which was introduced in 1973, snow topped, which has white peaks, Toblerone praline, and even fruit and nut, just to name a few. Rumor has it that the shape of the Toblerone triangle angles was inspired by the Matterhorn, a big peak which forms part of the Swiss Alps. However, Theodore Tobler's son has actually cleared up this rumor. The shape of the famous chocolate bar was actually inspired by a pyramid shape that dancers made in a performance that Tobler went to see at the Folie Berger. Now, on to our original point. If you take a look at the Toblerone logo, it's likely that you'll only see a Swiss mountaintop. If you look closely, however, you will see that there is actually a bear within the mountain. Bears are synonymous with Switzerland. Very clever marketing indeed. Liking this video so far? Lick that chocolate off your fingers, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. Spicy queso, delicious! Tostitos. Suddenly, I find myself here, where you're supposed to be, and you, you just got Van Damme. Tortilla chips are among some of the most popular snacks in the world, and one of the most well-loved brands in the US is Tostitos. It's just a party, it's a fiesta grande, right Claire? Claire? Did you know she could do that? With their motto of bring the party, it's easy to see why this is the case for this product from Frito-Lay. These delicious corn snacks were introduced in 1979 by a group led by Jack Liskowski. Through extensive research, the group discovered unique traditional cooking methods that allowed them to develop an authentic Mexican flavor. In 1980, Tostitos were launched to retailers with traditional flavor and nacho cheese flavor. Within that first year, sales amassed a staggering $140 million, making it one of the most successful new products to come from Frito-Lay. These days, we are definitely not limited to traditional and nacho cheese flavors. Some of the varieties that are now available include Hint of Jalapeno, Hint of Lime, Hint of Pepper Jack, Spicy Quesadilla, Tostitos Scoops, and Tostitos Rounds. These are just a few of the variants. There are many others, too. In 1995, Tostitos became the official sponsor of the Fiesta Bowl, part of the college football championship games. Now, onto their logo. We hadn't even noticed this before, but if you take a look at the two T's in Tostitos, you will see that there are two people enjoying tortilla chips and a dip. Again, very clever marketing. We're never going to see that logo the same way again. These are Tostitos. Tostitos. Mm. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is one of the most popular chicken restaurants in America, next to the delicious KFC. It started out life as Dwarf House and was founded in 1946 in Georgia by S. Truett Cathy. This fast food chain specializes in, you guessed it, chicken. Cow! Paul, where are the burgers? McDonald's is probably best known for putting the hamburger on the map as one of the most popular convenience foods, and the same can be said about Chick-fil-A and their famous chicken sandwich. These days, the chain has a revenue of a staggering $9 billion and has over 2,200 locations across the U.S. In fact, there are only three states that don't have a Chick-fil-A location, Alaska, Hawaii, and Vermont. It has been estimated that by the year 2020, Chick-fil-A will be bigger than Wendy's, Burger King, and Taco Bell. 
Given the popularity of all three of these chains, this is a huge feat indeed. The first 100 customers to any new location receive free food for a year. If this doesn't entice you to try the chicken sandwich, we don't know what will. The Chick-fil-A logo and name is actually a great example of some very clever marketing. First of all, the name is a play on the American pronunciation of filet. This is quite a well-known fact. What you might not know, however, is that the A in the name also stands for Grade A Chicken. There's also something hidden in the logo that you might not have previously noticed, and that is that the C in the name is actually shaped into a chicken. This chicken sandwich just talked to me. They said, get this chicken, boy. Baskin Robbins. Based in Massachusetts, Baskin Robbins was founded in 1945 by Burt Baskin and Irv Robbins. The first Baskin Robbins location was in Glendale, California. According to claims by the duo themselves, their brand operated the world's largest chain of ice cream specialty stores. <laughs> In fact, there are a staggering 2,500 locations spread across the United States and a whopping 5,000 locations across other countries. Since 1945, over 1,000 ice cream flavors have been released by the brand. Baskin Robbins came about when brothers-in-law Bert Baskin and Irv Robbins merged the two ice cream parlors that they owned, Burton's Ice Cream Shop and Snowbird Ice Cream. Snowbird originally offered 21 different flavors, but this number was increased to 31 after the merging of the two parlors. By 1948, the duo had opened six stores. Within the following decades, they went on to open stores in other countries, including Japan, South Korea, and Australia. Baskin Robbins was actually the first brand to introduce ice cream cakes to the general public. The slogan of the brand is 31 flavors, with the idea being that you can try a different flavor for every day of the month. If you look closely at the Baskin Robbins logo, you will see that the pink parts of the B and the R form the number 31, in keeping with the traditional motto. Hershey's Kisses. Big things come in little packages. Like the big taste of chocolate in this little Hershey's Kiss. Hi, David. Hi. Hershey's Kisses are a hugely popular product made by the Hershey Company. If you've yet to experience these delicious treats, then the best way to describe them is chocolate teardrops with a flat bottom that have been wrapped in aluminum foil. Hershey's Kisses were introduced way back in 1907. Originally, each kiss was hand wrapped in foil. As you can imagine, as their popularity grew, manufacturers simply couldn't keep up. Fortunately, three brothers named Walter, Howard, and Raymond Philippi were on hand to develop a machine that would provide automatic wrapping. They also created a device that would reject misshapen kisses. In 1942, the production of Hershey's Kisses was halted due to the rationing of aluminum foil. During this time, the confectioners decided to use the machines to make a chocolate paste to give to the soldiers who were serving in World War II. Hershey's Kisses are one of the most popular chocolate brands in the U.S. In fact, in 1989, they were named the fifth most popular brand in America, with sales topping $400 million. Despite there only being two factories, each day there are more than 60 million Hershey's Kisses produced. If you look closely at the logo, you'll see an extra Hershey's Kiss in between the letter K and I. Very sneaky. Still don't see me. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Teach the world to sing, sing with me. Possibly the most famous drink brand in the world, Coca-Cola has an incredibly rich and complex history. Although there is much debate, it seems that the original inventor of the beverage was Confederate Colonel John Pemberton. The backstory to his invention is actually quite interesting. Pemberton was injured during the Civil War and became addicted to morphine. It was during his battle with addiction that he decided he needed to find an alternative, and it was then that he invented Coca-Cola. This was way back in 1886 in the United States. The first out door sign promoting the drink was painted in 1894 in Cartersville, Georgia. It was advertised as cola syrup, which was actually an over-the-counter supplement for an upset stomach. The longest-running Coca-Cola fountain was in Fleeman's Pharmacy and was in use between the years of 1914 and 1995. <laughs> 
Coca-Cola has some of the most well-known advertising campaigns in the world. We all know and love the Holidays Are Coming advert, which symbolizes the arrival of the Christmas season for many millions of households. One thing that you might not be aware of is that there's a hidden message of sorts in their logo. In the negative space between the O and the L, you will see the flag of Denmark. Coca-Cola themselves have declared that this is purely coincidental. However, this didn't stop them from using it to their advantage in advertising campaigns for certain countries. Domino's. Looking for this? Domino's Pizza was founded in 1960 in Michigan by Tom and James Monahan. Originally, the two brothers had planned to split the working hours of the restaurant between them. However, James didn't want to quit his full-time job as a postman. Within eight months of the business opening, James traded his half of the business to Tom in exchange for the Volkswagen Beetle that they used for deliveries. Whoa, Domino's is cooking! By 1965, Tom had purchased another two locations. He originally wanted all three of the locations to have the same name of Dama Nix, but the original owner of the restaurant forbade him from doing so. Employee Jim Kennedy came back from deliveries and suggested the name Domino's. Evidently, Monahan loved the idea of the name and registered Domino's Pizza Inc. The backstory for the logo of Domino's is actually quite interesting. Originally, the three dots on the Domino represented the three locations that Tom Monahan had secured already. His intention was to add a new dot to the logo for every new location. Given the massive expansion that occurred and the fact that there are now locations all over the world, it's easy to understand why his original idea had to be dropped. So the logo now consists of a single domino with three dots that represent the first three locations. Or the dominoes will make a Tuesday feel like Friday. Wendy's. Side, there's a great tasting hamburger, crispy fries, and a frostier drink. Wendy's is possibly the most well-known diner-style fast food chain in the United States. Known for their relaxed dining style, Wendy's was founded in Columbus, Ohio in 1969 by Dave Thomas. These days, there are over 6,500 Wendy's locations, making them the third largest hamburger fast food chain behind McDonald's and Burger King. Wendy's hot and juicy hamburgers. Juicy meat, juicy toppings. Surprisingly, while the Wendy's company has control over the appearance of the outside of all of the locations, the individual owners of the location actually have control over a lot of other things, including wages, pricing, interior appearance, and even the staff uniform. Wendy's prides themselves on cooking food like mom makes. This is why you'll find American classics such as french fries, hamburgers, chicken sandwiches, and many others. One thing that you might not have noticed is the hidden message in the Wendy's logo. If you look closely at Wendy's collar, you'll see that it spells out the word mom. This is great and that it's very fitting for their suggestion that they make food like mom. However, when asked about it, the staff at Wendy's confirmed that this was simply a happy coincidence. Very cool, nonetheless. Hey guys, this is a defining moment with a spicy chicken sandwich. Jack in the box. I'll try my balls. Jack, the lawyers aren't comfortable with the new marketing campaign. Jack in the Box is another incredibly famous fast food chain in America, this time founded in California way back in 1951. These days, there are a very impressive 2,200 locations dotted all across the West Coast. I want you in my next move. Picture this. You're an undercover karate cop who doesn't play by the rules. You may think that Jack in the Box is the same as any other hamburger-focused fast food restaurant, but this is definitely not the case. In fact, they were the first fast food chain to focus on the drive through although not the first to operate one. And they were the first fast food chain to use a two-way intercom system. This system can now be found in thousands of fast food restaurants all over the world. The old Jack in the Box logo was part of a conspiracy theory. The O and the X formed the shape of a Christian fish. Theorists claimed numerous conspiracies relating to this. However, it's likely that it was simply a coincidence. Either way, the logo has since been updated and now looks completely different. Hey, you got some pretty nice bowls there. And so does Dan. Thanks, Jack. Pepsi. Is that a great new Pepsi can or what? Pepsi was invented way back in 1893 by Caleb Bradham. It was originally named Brad's Drink, then Pepsi Cola, and then finally in 1961, it was renamed Pepsi. The brand 
has had a long-running rivalry with Coca-Cola, and everyone has their personal preference. One thing that you might not know is that the old Pepsi logo actually had a lot of hidden meanings and messages. It was designed to draw inspiration from all sorts of things, from the theory of relativity to feng shui. However, the logo was changed. One thing that has always remained the same with the Pepsi logo is the red, white, and blue, representing the colors of the American flag. America. Next time you visit a fast food joint, maybe take a look at their logo and see if you can spot anything different about it. Clever marketing can be found all over the world, and you never know what hidden messages you might be missing. Hang out with us and never miss out. For more great videos, just stay right here and click. It's that easy. If you want to become an official Babble Topper, click the join link in the description below for more details.